Hey, it's me again. I don't know if you're getting any of these, but if you are, I want you to know that I love you. I never really understood just how much before. It's funny, because I always thought I never needed anyone, and you came along. I know I can't live without you. The stupid thing is, we've only just begun to know each other. So you stay strong. Because I'm never going to stop loving you. You think I'm wasting my time? No. Of course not. We will find her, and we're going to bring her home. Right, I'll make something to eat and then we'll get back out there, yeah? See why it's taking so long. You'd have thought there'd have sent one of those scruffy little terrier dogs down to sniff her out. I think it might be a bit more complex than that. Well, it's not as if she could have got that far. Oh, Edna! It is today that Tootsie's out, isn't it? This afternoon. Oh, bless her little cotton paws. Wish her well from me, won't you? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Some leftover scraps and bits. Now, before you say no, I thought in the circumstances it might help build her appetite up. The thing is, I haven't got much change on me. Oh, no, I don't pay for them, though. No, it's on the house. Well, on the floor, to be precise. <laughs> I don't follow. Well, I dropped them while I was cooking. It seemed a shame to throw them away with, could go to a deserving home. Careful. She'll be in here scrounging tidbits every morning. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, no, I didn't mean you. I meant Tootsie. For your information, I have never let her scrounge anywhere, least of all off dirty floors. Good day to you. Well, really, I scrub these floors twice a day. I can think of better places to drown your sorrows. Like the boozer. One, we don't all get blood out before breakfast. And two, who says I'm drowning my sorrows? So you're not even missing Kyle just a little bit. Well, it wasn't until you lot started banging on about him. It wouldn't hurt to send him a card, you know. At least then he'd know that you were thinking about him. Except I'm not. Thinking about him, and neither should you be. Just looking out for you, love. I don't need looking out for. You will, if you keep mithering on. Look, I'm not going to sit here and do nothing where you make a huge mistake. Like letting you back into my life. I'm not putting Kyle through the same thing. Tell me why you're packing up. Uh, I was just on my way to see you. Are you moving the search somewhere else? Not moving, just scaling things back. What? Why? We made it to the bottom of the mine shaft and found the quad bike. And? Well, she was there, all right. Was? She must have crawled through into a tunnel leading off it. So she's alive? It's not so simple. What are you telling us? The collapse yesterday. It brought down part of the roof of the tunnel. It's completely sealed off. Well, then you should have more people trying to dig her out, not sending them away. We are, and that's where we're focusing our efforts. But we need to be realistic. What do you mean, realistic? You think it's too late? What? We're going to keep on searching for as long as it takes. But perhaps it is best if you do prepare yourselves for the worst. I'm sorry. I should never have left her. No, Declan, don't talk like it's over. If I'd have stayed with her, I could have got her out. For the last time I've told you this isn't your fault. I'm the reason she's down there! I've killed her. You don't know that yet. You heard what he said. She's buried down there. It's my fault.
she's not up there. I told you, last time I saw her, she was in the cafe. Well, she's not now, and she's not answering my calls either. Probably because she doesn't want to talk to you. It's not me I'm worried about. Uh, excuse me. I think I've got just as much right to talk to me daughter. More, in fact. Well, come on, let's hear it then. What? The little pearls of wisdom you've been filling her head with. It's none of your business. Oh, I think you'll find it is my business, because for the past year, I have been helping her getting over losing that poor little bane. Only now you come along and dredge the whole thing up again. I think I've probably got a better understanding of what my daughter's gone through, don't you? Well, maybe if you'd been around for, ooh, let me think, the last ten years... She's still my daughter. Enough! Fighting's hardly going to help Amy, is it? Before you staggered back into our life, we were doing just fine. <laughs> you reckon? Look, I know having your children taken away from you is more your area of expertise, but just for once, why don't you do us all a favour and keep your fat gob shut? So what do you think? Oh, very high. <laughs> is there a special occasion or are you just spoiling yourself? Oh, I couldn't resist. And Steve says he loves me in heels. <laughs> Preferably just heels. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask your advice. Oh, don't tell me you got man trouble as well. As well as who? <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, well, I'm thinking of having a clear out for the local charity shop. Mm. And I was hoping that you could give me some idea of what things are worth. Sure, yeah. I'll pop round after dinner. That's OK? Oh, thank you. I'd appreciate that. All right. Mm. Oh, Megan. Any more news about Katie? Oh, nothing good, I'm afraid. I'll keep praying for her. Vodka tonic, please. Oh, on second thoughts, make it a double. Couldn't help here, Wigan. Uh, nothing good, you said. Does that mean something bad? They think she's crawled through into a tunnel leading from the mine shaft. What, oh, so they found her then? No, not yet. Part of the tunnel's collapsed. What? Can they dig through it? Yeah, they're trying to, but... But what, love? What, are they saying that she's dead? Uh, not exactly. They are scaling back the search, though. I'm as sick about this as the rest of you. Well, what does Declan say? He's giving them hell, right? I've just been up there. The scene has gone home. Well, he's given up on her. No, he can't have. Look, I know how upset you are. No, no, you don't. I'm sorry, but you cannot stand Kate, so don't pretend any different. Yeah, you're right. But whether I like it or not, she's my family, and so is Declan. So what's your point, then? My point is that the rescue team might have lost hope, but that doesn't mean we have to. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we should start looking ourselves. How are we supposed to find her if they can't? I don't know, but it beats sitting here doing nothing. We know that land better than any of them, so, uh, well, between us, maybe we can find another way in. What are we waiting for, then? Well, we could take a couple more with us. Yeah, me and Sam will come with you. You should stay with Molly. No, no, I want to come with you. Listen to me. Even if I find her, she might not. No, don't say that. He's right, love. You can find her for me. Are you coming with us? No, you're all right. I need to talk to someone first. Just the best you can do. Meaning? Trying to give Val the slip. You do know she's got a secret spies out looking for you. Like you, I suppose. Uh, I'm the only one trying to get them off your back, thanks very much. They're only doing it because they're worried about you. I had a baby by the local nut job, who then threatened to kill us. And then I gave him away so that he didn't have to go through the rubbish I went through. I think I can deal with missing his first birthday, don't you? Look, I get why you don't want to let on to Val or your mum. I wouldn't either. But this is me, right, and I can see what he's doing to you. It's OK to miss him, you know. 
call us a missing. But they gave him away for a reason. Because so long as I'm his mom, he's got no chance, has he? Well, what about when he's older? They know nothing about us. The way I shouldn't have bought my mom. You don't mean that. You don't get it. Me and her were the same. Both the rubbish at being mothers. The only difference is I gave up Kyle before he had to find out. What do you want? Came to see you. I'm busy. Come on, mate, you're better than this. Really? You should go. You know, Megan and half the village, they're out there. They're looking for her. Well, that's it. You're going to do nothing. What do you suggest? You stop feeling sorry for yourself and help. Did you grow up here while I weren't looking? No, but you should. I've been out there! She's dead, you idiot! She's buried so far underground they can't even find her! I put her there. Well, I said you should go. Declan, she needs you now more than ever. I said get out! Come on, mate. Do it, if it's gonna make you feel better. She's alive, and you've given up on her. You didn't deserve her in the first place. Kitty! Kitty! Anything. Nothing that looks like it goes anywhere. This is useless. Why don't you three get off to Butler's farm? You know it better than us. Me and Sam could check the estate. Yeah, it's a good idea, Zach. Call me if you see anything. Yeah, will do. You all right? Better than she will be. All this doesn't square with you supposedly hating her. Yeah, it's not about what I think about her, is it? Zach, thank you. What, for trying to save a lass's life? Katie! Katie! Have a little chat. Normally, just barge into other people's houses uninvited, do you? What's that? Nothing. Please tell me you aren't doing what I think you are. Don't think anything, sweetheart. Just keep your little beak out. What, the way you are, you mean? Believe it or not, I'm trying to help her. Except this isn't what she wants. Yeah, well, I'm a mum and I'm gonna pull rank. I know why you're doing this. I'm very happy for you. Because you think Amy was chuffed when she got the cards that you sent her. She was? Yeah. Well, what do you know about it, anyway? I know that them cards broke her heart. The shoulder that I cared. Abandoned them all like. No, it wasn't like that. To her it was. And you'd know! Yeah, because she told me how every time she thought she could finally move on and forget about what you did to her, you'd send her another card to make sure she couldn't. So send it. See if you can screw up Kyle's life like you did Amy's. Wedding present from Cousin Mildred. Yeah. No sentimental value. I've been trying to get rid of the thing for years. Uh, well, I can safely say you won't be throwing away a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's worthless. It must be worth something. No, I'm afraid not. This kind of thing was ten a penny in those days. Uh, more likely to fill a Victorian landfill, I'm afraid. There's uh, nothing else you wanted to sell? Well, there is one thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are old, but I'm afraid they're not worth anything. Whoa. These, on the other hand... They belong to a second cousin. Yeah. First World War. Unless I'm very much mistaken. <laughs> Passchendaele. This is the military cross. Well, there should be a certificate. You know, on second thoughts, uh, I... Yeah, here it is. 
King's own Royal Yorkshire Light Infantry, mm. Ernest Burrow. Edna, these are your father's war medals. I don't understand. I, I must have made a mistake. You're not thinking of selling them, then? No, of course not. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must uh, go and pick Tootsie up. Yeah. Well, you let me know, will you, if you uh, would like me to sell this on for you. I will. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. Remember where you saw it? I told you it was dark. I was trying to get home for my tea. <laughs> well, you must remember something. I remember our Aunt Marvin. What was that? What? Katie! Katie, where are you go? Please get me out. It's there. Oh, thank God. Are you all right, love? Are you hurting anywhere? <laughs> Look, we'll have you out of there in no time. Do you hear me? What? Yeah, leave it. Uh, right, get on the blower. And uh, tell the rest of them to come here. What's wrong? What's wrong? No, no nothing, love. Uh, we're just trying to get some more help. You just try to stay calm. All right? Hello, Megan. It's me, Sam. Yeah, we, we found her. Now, here we are. You've missed your comfy sofa, haven't you? much better than that nasty cold surgery. <laughs> Why you just sit there while I get your special medicine. Stay. Good girl. Where you're injured, love? I don't know. She said something about her legs earlier. Okay, stay away from me, sweetheart, and we'll have you out of there just as soon as we can. Right, I need some bolt cutters. Oh, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Huh? Hey, don't look at me. It was our summer to find her. Declan's here. Is it true? They're trying to get her out of there now. How is she? She's alive, that's the main thing. Katie, it's me. Can you hear me? Why isn't she answering? Katie, can you hear me, love? I'm so cold. Keep talking to her. Don't let her drift off. We need to get her out of there now. You just hang in there just a little bit longer, OK? We're in! <laughs> get me the harness! You're going to be OK, you hear me? You're almost there, Katie. Katie? Hurry, please. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'd know that face anyway. Uh, Auntie Bell. I thought as much. Hey, how come I'm the last to know that you're trading in your fella? Oh, you're not going to lecture me as well, are you? Lecture you? No, I was going to ask what your secret was. Can't seem to shake this one off for love and money. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your first mistake. Never let love come into it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fonder. When? Katie. She's still alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But thanks for letting us know. Is she all right? Not great by the sound of it, but she's alive. And to think that we're going to give up on her. Eh, uh, how was Andy? Frantic. Sounds like chaos up there. I should go up. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah. I'm sure you breathing your beery fumes all over them will work miracles. 
was an absolutely necessary. Oh, come on. She doesn't give a toss about Katie. She's just after our leg over with Andy. That's Katie. It's me. Can you hear me? I've got a faint pulse. Oh, God. Rest for a 28 with equal air entry. How long till we get the chopper here? They're saying another five. Need to get a line in, please. Don't give up, Katie. Not now. Is she OK? I mean, how's she doing? The next few hours are critical. If we can get her to the hospital quick enough, then she's got a fighting chance. Call ahead, tell them we need a full crash team on standby. She never left her. Look, we found her. No, you did. What does it matter? She's OK. So I gave up. By the end of tonight, only four will remain. Join us to see who goes through and catch up on all the rest of the day's jungle action. That's I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here, 8.30, ITV1 and ITV1H.